So today we are doing 465 divided by 6, and we are using the standard algorithm. Divide, multiply, subtract, bring down. Does McDonald's sell burgers? Make sure you draw a fact triangle so you can see what we're doing here. We're doing 465 divided by 6, but we're also saying 6 times what equals 465? Or how many times, if I skip count 6, how many times do I have to do it to get into 465? Or how many 6s fit in to 465. So let's start one step at a time. First we would divide. Now normally we do four divided by six, but you can't do that. If I have four pieces of candy and I wanna give them to six friends, I mean, you can't do it smaller than six. So you need to do this instead. 46 divided by six, or in other words, six times what is 46? Now six is not a factor of 46, so you're not gonna hit it, but could we get close? So six times something gets us close to 46. Six, 12, 18, 24, 30, 36, 42, 48, you can't go over, right? So six times one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, six times seven will get us up to 42, which is close to 46. That's how many sixes can fit in to 46. All right, so put your seven right on top of the thing we were just working with. Now, we're gonna multiply using the last thing we touched, which is the seven. Seven times six is 42. Put that down here. Next step. We're gonna subtract using the thing we just touched. 46 minus 42 is four. Now we're going to bring down. What are we bringing down? Well, what haven't we used yet? This five is feeling kind of left out over here. Bring down your five. This is our number now. We're gonna start all over and now we're gonna divide again. 45 divided by six. So again, can you skip count your sixes and get close to 45 without going over? Yes, you can. Six times seven is 42. That's the closest you can get to 45. So again, we're gonna put a seven up here. And now this is where the multiplication is really important. You think you're done, but we're not because we didn't actually make 45. Six times seven is 42. So there's a, something left over, there's a remainder. So now we're gonna do our next step. We just divided, we got seven. Now we need to multiply seven times six is 42. We didn't get to 45 and we need to honor that. Next step is to subtract 45 minus 42 is three. There's nothing to bring down. So we're done except we're not because we didn't get all the way up to 45. So we have a remainder and this is our remainder. So our answer is 77 remainder three. What that means is you can't do, if you get six times 77, you're not gonna get 465, you're going to get 462. And then we do 463, 464, 465, there's three left over. So let me show you what I mean and I want you to check these with multiplication. So 77 times six, six times seven is 42, six times seven is 42, <clears throat> plus four, so 42, 6 times 7 is 42, 44, 45, 46, 47, 7 plus 42. Oops, sorry, my video froze on me there for a second. But um, 6 times 2 is 42, and then 6 times, or 6 times 7 is 42, and then 6 times 7 plus 4 is 46, so we get 462. And then the remainder 3 is what gets us up to 465. So basically, we just did 6 times 77 equals 462, because you can't hit 465, but then you take 463, 464, 465, so remainder 3, okay? So that's how we multiply using the standard algorithm with a remainder.